Hey everybody, it's Kendra. So welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you've been here before. Okay, so today I am going to be doing a quick, fun, funky summer tutorial for this look. So it's a very like natural nude face, like very fresh, very like healthy and glowing, but then the eyes just have this fun, fun pop of color. So you can see I just have like a fun turquoise teal aqua um, liner. So I really love this look for the summer, um, especially if you have even a bit of a tan. Um, so the color I'm using is this lovely aqua color. You can see I'm all swatched up with different varieties of this. Um, I think this color looks absolutely gorgeous next to tan skin. I feel like if you have a tan, it makes this aqua color really, really pop. And I think like the aqua also like makes you just look a bit more tan. I, I really think this color with tan skin is just a perfect combination. Okay, so after my tutorial, I will give you some options for colors that would totally work for this. If you like a gel liner, if you like a pencil, if you like a shadow, if you like a liquid liner. Okay, let's jump into it. Okay, first off to prime my skin, I am using what I always use, the Bourjois Happy Light Luminous Serum Primer. Really loving this. Okay, and then foundation, I am using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. I think this is a really, really nice summer foundation. Um, this is basically what I use all summer long. Oh, and my shade is in 53. I can finally wear 53. I finally have a little bit of color, yay. So yeah, for a summer look, I don't like to use too much makeup. Um, just because I don't like, I don't like to feel like it's melting off. I hate that like heavy, sticky feel to my skin in the summer. I hate that feeling anyway, but especially in the summer, ugh, really, I'm not a fan of that. I'm also just kind of doing it like around my eyeballs. This is a really simple look, um, but the eyeliner is really fun and like just like a cool, unexpected pop of color. I really like this look. Um, this is my favorite like fun, funky summer look. It's really fun because you will be, you know, running around wearing your sunglasses. Then you meet up with someone and you take off your, um, you take off your sunglasses and whoever you're with, like they see your bright turquoise eyeliner and they're like, whoa, like didn't expect that. I love that. I have this like really red nose. I have the curse of the, the sunglass tan. So when I wear this look, I really like to wear just like very simple clothes um, and pretty simple accessories because like turquoise eyeliner is pretty bold. <laughs> so I like to keep the rest of my look very, very simple. Nothing too crazy. So like this, like what I have on, this is just like a long black dress, um, tank dress I got at H&M. So comfy, so perfect for the summer. Okay, I will go in with a teeny bit of concealer. So again, as you know, you predicted it. NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard. I usually always do like my skin stuff pretty much the same. And especially in the summer when I don't wanna have like a really heavy foundation, like that bourgeois one is just the best but I do need to put powder on it, otherwise it will slide around. And again, for powder, using my NARS Translucent Crystal Setting Powder. I don't know, maybe you think, am I, am I like a really bad YouTuber? Cause I use like the same, a lot of the same products like every time. I don't know, I like to find what works and then stick with it. Okay, now for blush, for a little mix of color, I am using the Benefit Posy Tint and Cha Cha Tint. So just mixing these together on the back of my hands. These are actually like tiny little sample guys. I got, I think I bought two kits from Sephora. And um, I think one of them was like three of these little minis of like all their tints and things. And then the other one maybe had one or two minis and then like a mini blush and a mini lip stuff. And they're both very affordable. I really like that. Um, Cause these, I think like full price, these are pretty expensive. And 
I've had the full size ones before, but I never used them. Like I never use it up because it's just, I mean, you don't really use that much. So I just put it on my hand and then just mix it around. My hand basically is like this big mess by the end of this. But I think it's really lovely to use like some, some liquid blush or cream blush in the summer. It just feels dewier. It just feels nicer on your skin. And speaking of these benefit products, when I lived in Korea, um, there's a brand called Etude House and they are very good at copying benefit products. So if you ever find yourself in Korea or like around, maybe like even like K-Town in LA or like any of these bigger cities, if you find Etude House products, definitely check, check them out because I found a lot of their products to be super similar to Benefit and it's like very reasonably priced. Okay, now a tiny bit of highlighter. I'm using the Benefit Sunbeam. Again, just taking a tiny bit of that on the back of my hand and just doing doo doo doo. Okay, now just going back in with the NARS powder and just kind of powdering just a teeny bit around the parts where I get a little bit oily. Okay, so that is my face makeup done. It's just like a very, very clean, simple look. Um, just like evening out my skin tone, giving me a bit of color. Okay, so now for my eyes, I am going to be using this lovely eyeliner by Bourjois. This is the Regard Effect Metallisé, and the color is Bleu Clonquant, which I just asked Hubby about, and he said it means um, like blue sequins or spark, like blue spark, sparkling blue, something like that. Anyway, it's this beautiful, beautiful, like teal aqua color. And it's very, it's so pretty. It's like very shiny because it's this like metallic effect. Oh, it's beautiful. I did prime my lids a tiny bit with like Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then I'm basically just going to be doing this just like along the top line and then like a tiny bit winged out. So if the wings don't seem super, super perfectly even, just go in, clean it up, make them even. Trust me, this is like the story of my life, like drawing on eyeliner wings, taking it off, doing it again, and then eventually saying screw it and just taking it all off. <sighs> also, it's really good to have a sharpener nearby. Um, this stuff is very soft and when it's not pointy, um, when it's not sharp, it's kind of hard to get like a nice pretty wing. So keep this baby sharp. Okay, so that is the basis of this. So I've just used this, um, this eyeliner to just, you know, draw a winged line. I will go back in a little bit later with that same liner. So first I'm gonna add some depth to this. Um, I'm using this black eyeshadow. This is like a sparkly black eyeshadow. This is from the Urban Decay Ammo Palette. This is called Oil Slick. And I'm just using like an angled brush. So I really like to put this just like very close to the lash line. It just adds a bit of dimension to it. Like if you just do the blue, it's kind of boring. It's not boring, it's pretty, but it, it looks a little bit um, like strange. So now just to like create a little bit of lightness on like the inner part of my eyes, I'm going to use this eyeliner by Sephora. This is their contour eye pencil. It's 12 hours and it's waterproof. So it's a really like, it's a nice like champagne-y color. So it has a similar texture to the aqua liner. So I'm just using this just a little bit in the inner corner and also like blending it in a teeny bit with the teal liner. And you could also use a shadow for this too. Just kind of like a champagne-y shadow. Okay, then I'm going back in with the blue to just sort of intensify the blue color. So after this is done, I would totally suggest going in and putting like a tiny bit of your um, like a translucent powder just on the top of your lids. You could put eyeshadow, you could do like a, like a champagne-y shadow or something like very, very like chill, something very, very neutral. Um, 
But in the summer, I don't know, I don't like to put on like tons and tons of eyeshadow. This eyeliner is waterproof, but you never know, like you don't want, you don't want this beautiful blue eyeliner and then like, like turquoise creases. Okay, and then this is optional. Um, you know, we added a little bit of depth with the black eyeshadow there. I'm also gonna like line the upper waterline um, with a black gel liner just to like intensify things a little bit more, just to add a bit more depth. I just think it really, really opens up your eyes and just like makes your eyes like pop so much more. I love it. Okay, and then some mascara. So this is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Okay, okay, just gonna do a teeny, teeny bit with brows, just using the Illamasqua Brow Cake in Thunder, as I always do. I'm not gonna do too much. I think summer is just all about being chill and comfy and not caking your face. Well, not like I like to cake my face any time during the year. Um, especially not the summer. Okay, and then for a teeny bit of color on my lips, I am going to be using the Bourjois Shine Edition Lipstick. This is in color 123 Soleil. So I just want a teeny wash of color. I don't want like, I don't want anything too intense because the eye look is already very intense. So I don't want to look like a clown with like crazy eyes and then bright lips. So this is like a really nice natural lip color. And I will add a teeny bit of the hourglass powder just kind of over like the parts I want to highlight. I'm just using the hourglass ambient powder in luminous light, this guy. Okay, so this is the finished look. Very, very simple, dewy, glowing face, and then a fun pop of color for your eye. You can see it's not very complicated. The only complicated thing is just getting the wings of your eyeliner pretty even. So some other options in case you don't want to use like a pencil. Well, I do have other pencil options. So this is the one I used. So very metallic, very pretty, kind of like a gel. Um, a gel pencil. So this is by Kiko and this is their Skinny Fit Kajal. Kajal, I don't know how to say that. Um, this is a similar color, but it's not shiny. Like this one's much more metallic and this is more matte. And then I also have a liquid liner from Sephora. This, be sure you like shake it up. If you don't shake it up, it just seems like it's very watery. And this is really, really pretty when it dries. It's kind of like glittery and metallic-y. It's lovely. Okay, then from an Urban Decay palette, this is their color Peace. So this one is not as like intense because it's a shadow, but I think you could layer this or even use this wet and it'd be very pretty. And then finally, I also have a NARS paint. This is in the color Solomon Islands and it looks like this. Very pretty, but not, um, when it dries, it's very matte. So you can see, so this is the Bourjois one, this is the Kiko, this is the Sephora one, um, Urban Decay, and NARS. So I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but this is the Sephora one and it's really, really pretty, like very shimmery. So these two I think are my favorites. I think this could be a perfect look for the beach. Um, I wouldn't, if I was going to the beach, I probably wouldn't do like the face makeup. Actually, I know I wouldn't, um, but this liner is waterproof. So, you know, use this get some waterproof mascara and you're set. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. I think it's a really, really fun look. Um, yeah, great fun look for summer. Summer is supposed to be fun. Like do something a little bit funky. Who cares? It's summer. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment. Love hearing from you guys. Like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye.